When you're looking for amazing flavor but don't have a lot of time, smoked chicken dunked in a tangy Alabama white sauce will become your new favorite cook. It's rich, creamy, and offers a subtle tang that you're gonna love. Coming up. Hey, welcome back to Adrenaline Barbecue. I'm Jabin Postal, and today at The Grill, we're gonna show you how to smoke chicken quarters with Alabama white sauce using the slow and sear and kettle grill. And just like always, I'm gonna put all the show notes as well as the full recipe in the description box below, so make sure to click down there to see everything that you need for this cook. Alabama white sauce is the brainchild of Chris Lilly from Big Bob Gibson's Barbecue. This combination of white sauce and delicious smoked chicken is an amazing duo that has people flocking to the restaurants just to give it a try. To start off, we need to prepare our chicken quarters by applying a half a teaspoon of kosher salt per pound of meat, along with some fresh ground pepper. There's no need to apply any fancy rub because we want to allow the white sauce to shine. Once the chicken is prepared, let's put together our white sauce. Whisk together your mayo, cider vinegar, lemon, and apple juices, along with the horseradish. Next, add in some garlic, pepper, mustard powder, kosher salt, and cayenne pepper, and blend it together well. All the ratios for the sauce will be in the description below to help you out. After the white sauce is mixed together, place the sauce as well as the chicken in the fridge for a minimum of two hours and preferably overnight, just to allow the flavors to blend together and for the salt to absorb into the chicken. With the chicken and white sauce ready to go, let's get the Sloan Sear set up for cooking at 325 to 350 degrees. We placed a half a chimney of unlit briquettes into the Sloan Sear, then topped it with half a chimney of fully lit briquettes. You'll notice that the water reservoir is in place to provide a radiant heat barrier, which helps even out the heat on the indirect side. We also added a couple small chunks of wood to provide a little smoky flavor for our chicken. That said, chicken skin is unforgiving with dirty smoke, and so make sure your smoke looks a thin white or thin blue before you add the meat. Once our grill is up to temperature with clean smoke, place the chicken quarters onto the grill opposite the Sloan's here with the skin side up. Also place a thermometer similar to our XR50 leave-in thermometer into the thickest section of the chicken quarter to help monitor the temperature. Once that's done, close the lid and begin cooking. Our chicken quarters have been cooking for about 40 minutes now and the internal temperature of our chicken has reached 165, so we're gonna take them off and dunk them into our white sauce. We'll let the grill heat up to 350 degrees while dunking and then place the chicken back on the grill for another five to 10 minutes to allow the white sauce to set up as a base layer of flavor. After a few minutes, our chicken quarters have reached an internal temperature of around 175 degrees, which is our ideal temperature for chicken quarters. We will now pull them off and let them rest for a few minutes before tossing them again in our white sauce. We do this so that the sauce doesn't liquefy and run off due to the high temperature of the chicken. Our chicken has been smoked and dunked in our white sauce and it smells really good. So let's finish getting it plated and ready for the taste test. Our chicken and white sauce looks awesome, and the aroma that's coming from the white sauce mixing with the chicken is just absolutely unreal. This is actually one of my favorite ways to make chicken, and so I know it's gonna be good, so let's dive in and go for the taste test. Let's go for this one right here. Man, this looks good. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. That sauce is just so creamy and tangy. And the way it mixes with that chicken is just awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, as to be expected, this chicken and white sauce is incredible. The flavor is creamy with a little bit of tanginess that complements the fattiness in the chicken really well. The chicken has great bite through skin. It isn't rubbery at all. And I'm reminded why this is one of my favorite ways to cook chicken. With its savory and tangy flavor, chicken with white sauce will have everyone licking their fingers and reaching for seconds every time. It's that good. Hey, if you like what we're doing on this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as leave a comment down below letting us know how you enjoyed this chicken and white sauce recipe. I'm Jabin with Adrenaline Barbecue Company, where we didn't invent the kettle, we perfected it. See you next time.